website key configurations. So if I wanted to basically access the interface, oh, I forgot to include the, the, the pound sign. So when you see the router, the name of the router and it's um, whatever, you can do configuration. So as, let's say for instance, I wanna change the router's name from router to something else. And just type host name, host name, and I wanna make it uh, R1. So then you notice it has changed to R1, the router changed to R1, okay? Or host name. Uh, I wanna use, um, call me some uh, router, call me hyphen RT, uppercase RT. So you notice call me RT shows up. Anyways, we wanna enable the interface. That's the most important thing here. So now let's figure out what the interfaces are. There are two interfaces that we looked at. If you put a cursor on one of them, you see it show a number. It says gigabits zero one, that's the label for that interface. And on the HR side is gigabit um, zero one. So now let's go back and see if we can turn them on. So to access the interface, what I type is just interface, in this case, uh, zero, uh, zero for the one on your finance. So I'm now on the finance interface or the link, the interface that's connected to the finance network. And to turn it on, you type the command, no shutdown. Now watch, it's green now, right? Meaning that the interface is now online. It's not connected. It's connecting to a switch now. If you want to turn the HR part on as well, you go into that HR interface part, which is G01 uh, as a label. And then you type no shutdown, the same thing. And that's online. Yes, uh, so I was saying that um, uh, the the routers by default have got their interface turned off mostly because of the fact that they handle um, a, a number of uh, routing needs. So they don't need to be turned on automatically. They have to be done manually after you've configured the various interfaces with the IP address or various settings. Now, but, but, but when it comes to the switch, by default, they have the interface all switched on because they don't handle much of any uh, packets forwarding to, to various network or to various dev dev uh, devices, but instead the forward frames, since switches are layer two devices, they just forward frames. So by default, the uh, ports are left to be turned on. They're not forwarding much of any packets, just frames across, and that's not very, uh, that's not much of any information, okay? But for routers, since they handle packet formation, they could have information, real critical information, and for security reasons, uh, they, they, they tend to turn the, the interface on, or oh, sorry, off by default. So whenever you buy a router, a, a Cisco or Netflix router, by default, you notice that the interface, it will not work. And so you go in there and then turn them on after you've done a configuration, assign them IP address, do some settings here and there, then you can enable them because the very more you enable them, it means about to fire packets on the network. Okay, so that's the reason why they by default not allowed to have the interfaces turn on or turn off by default. Okay, so currently we have the interfaces turned on, and now you see green light across, but we don't have IP addresses on the two interfaces yet to allow packets to go back and forth. To do that, so let's go back and label the interface and then assign IP address to it. We wanna assign the HR part, which is this interface over here, with a gateway IP address of 192.168.1.1 slash 24. So the interface that's facing the HR, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this IP address for it. It's like a gateway to, uh, to the outside world, okay? In this case, to the other network. And then the, uh, the HR part, we're gonna label it um, IP address 
that's 2.1 slash 24. So that happens to be the two interfaces and the IP address. So let's make sure we know that. So we know interface 00, zero G00 zero zero is the 1.1, one one, and then interface G01 is a 2.1. Okay, so now let's go back into our switch or the router, sorry. And then um, let's go to the first interface, which is a, a zero, zero, zero. So interface G zero slash zero. To assign an IP address, you type IP address, and then the IP address you wanna use. In this case, it's 192.168.1.1. And as this is 24, you input a 24, which is 255.255.255.0. You hit enter. So now this interface is an IP address now, which is the gateway IP address. Let's go to the second interface, which is interface G01. IP address. And then 192.168.2.1, 24, so 255.255.255.0. Enter. So that interface is alive. Are we good? Now, this requires a bit of the Cisco uh, command knowledge. Now, on the website, on the course, on the last session, I indicated 10 key commands that you need to know with Cisco configurations. Download that PDF and then read them. You should get some of the basic commands that I use to configure Cisco switches from there. Or if you want, there are a whole bunch of them on their website. Or on YouTube, a whole gazillion of them are there that you can play around with, okay? But this is a basic. To get you started, read that basic, use them, and then play around with them. And then when you want to go to that advanced level, you start... Uh, watching the, uh, the YouTube videos or go to their website and watch or read a lot more, okay? The various commands used to set up the systems. We don't configure switches when you are not use VLAN. You can configure switches anyhow you wanna. VLANs are just virtual networks that you want to create. If you want to create virtual networks, then you go with the VLANs, okay? But we're not there yet. We are using physical networks over here. So that's for a later day. That, that's more advanced, okay? Or intermediate to advanced. We're not using VLANs now. We are using physical networks. So VLAN for another day, okay? Great. So once they have IP address, now let's see if you can forward packet across them. So let's see if I was to be, let's see if I were here, okay? I'm on uh, finance network and I'm on PC uh, zero and I wanna access the HR website. So let's click on that and then go to our browser. browser. Or first things first, let's do a ping. Let's see if we can ping uh, our, the data network now since now we're interconnected. So now let's do a ping and see. So I'm here on finance network, which is one network. Let me try and ping um, the gateway first, my gateway, which is 192.168.1.1. It's responding, so I can reach the router's gateway on my interface or my or on, the, on the finance side. Let's see if I can reach the, the HR side, which is 2.1. If you notice, it's not going through, right? That's because we've not done something. We have not assigned the gateways to these devices yet. So we need to close this and then come out to these devices and assign them with their gateways. So we need to basically include their default gateways now. In this case, 192.168.1.1. The server two, the same thing. Desktop IP configuration 192.168.1.1. This side as well. Sorry, desktop 
IP configuration, gateway 192.168.2.1. And then the DSCP server, since we're using DSCP over here, so let's go that. Let's do that for the services. DSCP, and then include our gateway. So our gateway to be assigned is 192.168.2.1. And you save it. Okay, so now let's do a thing again. See if it'll go through now. So I'm on PC0. Ping the HR software from the finance. Ping 192.168.2.1. No, no, dot 10, right? Still not responding. Anybody tell me why? It's responding now. It took some time to basically uh, get there, but it picked it up, so that's good. So it means that we can access the uh, the web server then from the finance uh, computer. So now let's type 192.168.2.10. I'm on the finance network and I'm accessing the HR server. We good, so that's good. Now let's try to reverse. Let's say I'm on here, I'm over here now. First things first, let me check my IP. I see if I pick the gateway. IP config. My gateway has not registered yet. So what I need to do is use IP, IP config forward slash renew. So I can pick up the, now I pick up the gateway now. So to renew and release as a command. Once I renewed it, because I, I, there was a modification in the gateway included in the DCP. So I have to do a renew so I can pick up the new gateway that I have, okay? So now when I'm here, and I try to access the finance software or the finance uh, 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 website, I should be able to do that. Okay, so now the finance was 192.168.1.10. Bingo. So everything is working. So I have these two networks interconnected, be able to talk to each other and access resource back and forth. And that's how we wrap it up, folks. Any questions? Stuff that you didn't catch on are all covered over here. Let me unmute you guys so you can talk and let me know what's going on. So, folks, what's up? I say. Yeah. Well, somebody was asking, um, and you wrote something and you were coming. Somebody was asking if switches, uh, I think, what was the, what was the question? Um, yeah, he says, please, the switch wasn't configured, but still the server was able to reach the PCs. So that's why I put it there that uh, we don't configure the switch unless we are using VLANs. That's why I made that statement. No, 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 no. You can configure switches with maybe some kind of security settings. Yes, but well, with IP address, with one, IP address. One second, one second. Uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel, one second. Okay, hold on. Okay, so uh, one thing I forgot. When it comes to uh, network devices, you can have two segments of it. One is a network device can be manageable, and one can be unmanageable. Yeah. In this case, we have Cisco switches and Cisco routers. They are all manageable devices, which means the term manageable just means that you can do all kinds of configurations on them. Ask them when you need them, ask them, well, ask them how you want it. You can configure them any how you want it, depending on what your, your design needs. Now, the question that came up, why were the connection established even though the switch wasn't configured? The switch just forward frames. So they don't really need much configuration in terms of forwarding frames. But if you want to do a configuration on it, you can do that. You can assign an IP address to it. You can uh, name it, like 
we will just do that. So on a switch here, command line, enable, config, and then host name. Uh, let's see, switch SW, SW1. See, I'm configuring it. Even though uh, the device are connected or not connected, I can do configurations on it. I can assign an IP address to it. All kinds of configuration you can do on it, but they are limited to what they can do because they only forward frames. They don't forward packets. So you don't really need much configurations on a switch. The, most, the, the, the key ones you're going to be needing to configure on a switch are the remote services, an IP address, thing of name, assign your security logins. Those are the key ones you're going to be configuring on your switches. And like I said, the key reason why you don't put that much configuration on switches is because they just forward frames. They don't handle much, you know, key data transmission besides frames. So you don't really need much configuration or you just have to configure the basic ones that can help you access it remotely or at any given point in time or change the name or assign security policies onto it. That's all that's required for them. But when it comes to routers, they require bigger configurations because they are going to be forwarding key data, which are packets. Are we good? So the reason why um, we didn't configure the switch from the onset, but you can do it. You can do your own configuration on it if you wanted to, even before you hook up the devices. Okay. But with the router, yeah. it's mandatory to configure something on it before you what you proceed, like your IP address configurations for the various uh, interfaces, uh, security settings allowing packets to flow through, allowing for firewalls and what have you. Okay, so a number of things that you can set up uh, within some of these devices. Yes, now come on, come in, Gabriel. Okay, um, that was the explanation uh, I, I want to Okay, finish. perfect, so that's it. Uh, yeah. John, it's, yeah, what do you want to say? John, you have your hands up, what's up? Okay, so guys, that's how you uh, play around with some of these basic network implementations. So I'm hoping with this is basic, this is basic, you can go ahead and start, you know, trying out some few stuff on your own or be able to even analyze your organization's network and see if you can apply some of these little tidbits to it or to help, you know, make it much more uh, robust and much more, uh, uh, efficient in how it handles uh, transmissions on your organization's network. So there's just a few notes you've picked up, you know, on how data is transmitted by uh, simple network implementations. Okay, folks. Are we good, guys? Yes, sir. I know it's a lot to take in, but it's all about practice. Once you practice on and on and on, you're going to start catching on some of these things uh, yes, quick. Sir. Yes. Are we going to Yo. get that assignment on this? Yes, there's going to be a quiz on this. A little small quiz, a 10 point quiz, that's all. And then I'm going to, and then you're going to have a homework later. Where you actually will ask when we're done with the entire design, you're gonna have a project on this whole thing. Okay. Okay. So then that's when you write a report and you submit it, and you're gonna be in groups or whatever, you know. So at least uh, it wouldn't be just one person's project. It would just be a collective heads coming together to address the design needs and what have you. Are we good? Okay. Okay, sir. Great. Wonderful. It's been an exciting evening. And I'm glad, I'm, ho I'm hoping you guys also enjoyed it. And we'll go back and, you know, try your hands on them and see uh, how far you can also take it, okay? I've given a little bit. Now you go back and build on it. That's where you have right. what? The knowledge acquisition, yes. Yes, yeah, so I beg you, with the, with the mid sem that we had, the ATM. It wasn't a mid sem, it was a quiz. <laughs> Sorry, the quiz. Uh, one person um, did it but uh, her name wasn't registered. Uh, I guarantee you, she didn't submit it. That's the reason why I didn't register. She didn't submit it? Yes, that's the reason why. Do you have an in number? Um, 
I think I, I need to help. Let me find out for me. I see if you are like, I see if you are like. Let me get it. Let me get the index number for you, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah. Please, uh, the Cisco uh, trace set setup. Can we get it so that we can also uh, practice what you did? He's <laughs> <laughs> <This, laughs> have joined late, right? <laughs> it's a free application from Cisco. Go online and download it. Okay. 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 So, what's in this number? Please, I'm coming, sir. Uh, so the guy has a okay. question. Okay. The, 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 so the index number is uh, 421. 421. 521. 521. 0051. 0051. Yes, sir. So 421. 521. 0051. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, okay. please. So now let's watch. See? Uh, wait. So Isaka. Ah. Yeah. So what it was captured, you got three points. Okay, okay. It was captured. Oh, this is a, this is a cross page. Massa, don't give me headaches, so. No, but that's what she told me. Oh, Massa, so this is, this is a cross page. <laughs> uh, sorry, where is it? The, click on it. And let's search. So it was 42115, right? So all the way down here somewhere. Five words. Two Five something, one. right? Where is it? Five one. Five one. Five is four two one. Five two one. Five two one, yes. Zero zero. Zero zero five one. Five one. Yes, so it's in between here. So it's not captured, actually. It's not captured. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, how is that possible? How come with this person's information wasn't captured? Yeah, he was captured. So how did I, how did I miss that? Yeah, so. Okay, so it's here, it's on my record. So maybe on the when I was when I was copying and pasting onto the course page, it didn't show up. Okay, okay my, so. on my on my Excel sheet, which is the most important thing, it is captured. Okay, oh, sir. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure for let me make, make sure let me make sure about that. Let me make sure about the uh, about that particular user here. Okay, so let's see, find him. Yeah, he's here, it's captured. So it was just maybe a typo there. So this, uh, this is the um, sir. master file. It has it over okay, there. Sir. Okay, sir, okay, sir. Sir. Yes, it has a master file, yes. Um, myself, too, <coughs> the same thing happened to me and I sent you a message. Yeah, it's captured here. Oh, I know why it wasn't captured, okay. That means this, this particular guy over here did not write the first assignment, the first way. Yes, uh, yes, she That's said that. That's the reason uh, why. Uh, so I'm going to wait until we have midterm. That's where everybody's going to come in. Then I'm going to have every student. That is actually part of the class, captured. It's okay. always an issue with you students. Eh? You wait until midterm before you all load up and come and register for the, uh, or show up your, for your assignments. So that's the reason why. The system is okay, picking sir. up information because it's not picking up your results because the first quiz we had is what I use as the, uh, the registered list. But since he didn't participate, his name wasn't captured. So now when okay. it came to the lookup, so when he came to look up for the second assignment, for the second quiz, his name wasn't captured. So okay. here we go, look at the function. So it's a function I'm looking at. I'm using a function over here. Oh, okay. A vertical lookup. So if you were not part of the first quiz, uh, and by you participating in the second one, it would not capture it. Yes. So you by of usually, course. hey, listen, listen to me. I'm not done yet. After, during midterm, when everybody comes in, they will start showing up. Are we good? Okay. Yes. Okay. 
So I know midterm is where everybody will come and write the, 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 the exam, the midterm exam. So we're gonna have a lot more. Currently, we only have, uh, let me see. We only have what's um, 662. But I know it's more than that. Yes. Yes, it's more than that. Okay, so don't worry. It will get captured after a minute when I update the number of users or students that are in the course. They will okay, start sir. reflecting. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Have, they can see the uh, uh, second quiz assessment. It's all because of the fact that you did not write the first quiz. So your name wasn't captured in the first list. But subsequent one, when it comes to the quiz, the midterm, I'm going to capture all of you now. Okay, so don't Hello, sir. Some of these things. Oh, okay, very good. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, mine, I, I did a first one and the second one, I didn't see the results. So I, I okay, tested so, you and. So let's let's find out where you are. Let's find out your, uh, what's your next number? Um, four, two, one, one, two, one, zero, okay, two, five, one, three. One, two, one, one, two, uh -huh. Yeah, two, one, zero. And not two again. No, no, that is one zero. One zero? Yeah, two five three. Two five three. Are you sure about this? So it's four two one one two one zero two five two. That's correct? Yes. Okay, let's find you. See? You didn't capture. In progress, it was not submitted. See that? System don't lie, Omasa. It says around 1018, you did not submit your quiz. You are still in progress. And the time has expired. So nothing was captured for you. If you go back to your Moodle, it will tell you not allowed under the progress. So that's the issue, okay? System don't lie. Anybody else? System can lie. Okay, what's the, the what's the next person? It's uh, let me see. It was uh, five, three, seven. I'm pretty the same issue here too. So what about you? So you the same issue. You were, you didn't sign. You didn't write a fair quiz. So that's why it wasn't captured. Sec, please, uh, did you say I didn't write the first quiz? Probably, yes. I wrote it, and the second one too, I wrote it. Are you sure? Okay, let's go back to my master, yes, please. My, my master sheet. So the master sheet says you were not captured. You're here, are ah, you captured? Master Jack was seven or two. You got to do it. Master. Anyways, folks, <laughs> a pleasant evening. Hey, sir, I like your chief. <laughs> it's not cheap. It's not cheap. You can't see you. <laughs> I can't see you. You can't see you. Okay. <laughs>